doing? All right, oh. this hour is on. My name is Dan Vega, Spring Developer Advocate at VMware. With me, as always, is my good friend, Deshaun. Deshaun, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great. This is great. I love being here. Yeah, so we are not totally prepared for a live broadcast from a place. I thought there might be some equipment here. So we're using a phone and a condenser mic, and you're probably hearing a whole lot of rumbling. Not everybody has all the latest and greatest technology, so you use what you have. Like, right. I get it. Right. So we are doing the best we can. We'll see if we can't improve. We're, we're going to iterate on this iterate. for the next one. But here we are, and this is what we're doing today. So we are live from Spring 1, 20, well, VMware Explorer, and then Spring 1 was yesterday. Um, but it, it didn't stop yesterday. It didn't stop. So we're going to talk about everything that's going on here at the conference. We'll take your questions. Go ahead and add your questions into the live stream. If you are joining us on the podcast, uh, please uh, check out springofficehours.io. That'll give you some information on the live stream and also the ability to go ahead and add your questions later. So I figured a good place to start is a little bit pre-conference stuff. Uh, travel was a little crazy coming here because some things were going on on the, on the left coast. Yeah, hurricane. And we thought that that was going to like cause an issue with everybody traveling, and for some people it did. Um, I had a long delay. I got in here at like 2 a.m., which my time was 5 a.m. So that night, Saturday night, Sunday morning, I didn't get to sleep till 5 a.m. And then you came in on Sunday morning. Sunday morning, 7 or 6.30 flight, my time. Uh, I landed in time to, yeah, get to the hotel and get into rehearsal. Yep, so it was fun to get in here. Um, Sunday, like you said, you had rehearsal. I kind of sat in on that for a little bit. And um, we were getting ready for spring one. Um, what else did we do Sunday? Uh, we had a bunch of things going on. I went and played golf. We did top golf, uh, so that was really good. Uh, yeah, so we're getting some comments here, um, uh, which I figured, yeah, not enough bandwidth in Las Vegas. It's not that there's not enough, but there are 10,000 people here, so I expected, uh, I didn't expect much of it right here. Yeah, so we're just going to run with it. Um, yeah, yeah, we're just talking. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. So um, let's jump into it. Uh, day zero, spring one. Uh, we're going to go through like kind of more specifics, but first overall thoughts of day zero. It was all about these options that we have for scaling to zero. Those are the things that jumped out at me, uh, maybe because that's a topic I like. But it was exciting. It was, it's exciting to see how far those things have come. We talked on it in a few different parts of the keynote, uh, and there was a lot of good feedback. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's start with the keynote. The keynote was, wow, we had like, we had some expectations. Yeah, I wonder, you either love it or hate it type of thing. Some people love it, some people hate it, so. Look who showed up. I know, Tasha. Look at who showed up. Come here, Tasha. Get in here. Get in here. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi. You're live streaming right now. <laughs> hi. I'm like, I'm talking to the CEO of VMware. Um, and so that was just, um, and so that was just. It was pretty cool, and I took a selfie because it was pretty cool, and I took a selfie because I had to. Of course, to. Keta. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll have to look. We'll look it up, but I know was just here. We'll have to look, and I know that Joe is like hot topic right now. A lot of people came to this, the booth. Kind. Uh, look. Kubernetes. Oh, kind. Happen. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know about that. Yeah. So. That's good. Yeah. I moved away from Kubernetes in Docker. And At Spring Boot 3.0, and what does that migration path look like? Yeah, the timelines haven't changed. Yeah. So there's a few things. There's other things happening in the ecosystem. You know, security is getting more and more important. Nobody's running less apps this year than they were last. Oh man, yeah, we gotta like just upgrade everything, and now it's like a big, it's a big project, right? So, and I know this. I know like organizations want to build out new features in their products. They don't want to work on things that aren't translating to dollars in their head, but they are. But they just don't see it that. Way. I'm also seeing a lot of organizations are approaching this process, this plan, this how do I upgrade, how do I stay current, how do I patch CVs, they're approaching it different. There's still no one right way to do it. But I... Kubernetes, have you heard about Kubernetes as a thing? I have, Kate. Uh, one of the other conversations that I had was like, we're talking about Spring One being next to VMware Explorer versus mm -hmm. Spring One Platform we had in the past, yep. how does Sanzu and the, the, where the lines cross. 
and Kubernetes is a thing. Yeah. Uh, some of the sessions, not many, some of the sessions used TAP yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of listened here and like, oh yeah, a lot of people are still you know, floating. They don't have a single flavor of Kubernetes in the building. Right. And they, the question was like, asked, like, how come more people aren't using TAP? Well, right. like it's there, it's cool. But yeah, Kubernetes is Kubernetes. Yeah. The ones that use TAP, they use it because it's so much easier. Right. Right. If you're, if you're not worried about teaching the Kubernetes uh, API or mm -hmm. the fundamentals, yeah, you use TAP. How do you do that when you're pulling in multiple things? So if I, if I grab a MongoDB, a MySQL, and I'm grabbing things off of my initializer, how do you decide which code goes where? Right. How do you upgrade? What if I want to add something later? What the Spring CLI is, this new project that Mark is working on. You can kind of picture this future where as I pull in new things and I pull in examples, they go into different modules and I can upgrade them yeah. as such. Yep. So there's this there's this picture, I don't know what it looks like just yet, yep. but Spring Module is definitely something that it's gonna be a part of the future. A lot of people are talking about it already. Yep. I'm excited. Yeah, so we're gonna to talk to Oliver on an upcoming show. We're just trying to do the Spring Dot Academy stuff first. Maybe we can find one of those like practice guides, those practice certifications. Spring Dot Academy. Yes, no, but like the, I'm saying let's pull one down and maybe we could do a show on that. We can do like a ping pong. That's not a bad idea. We can do some like questions back that's and forth. Fun. Yeah, I, I like that. Yeah, I like to learn in public, so that's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, oh my gosh, I'm just like all these things are racing through yeah. my mind. So from Steve this is week. sitting over there from yeah. the security team. Yeah. I'm gonna bug Steve to help me with a customer problem that I had last week. Yeah. Uh, basically, they're stuck on Java 8, uh, but they want to use Spring Authorization Server. So I actually I didn't know the answer. So I I sent a Slack message over to Steve. I said, hey, can we do that? He said, yeah, with 0.4. Okay, so it's not the latest version. Yeah. They can't upgrade to Java 17 for other reasons. So, yeah. okay, we got to meet them where they're at. Yeah. So I'm excited to sit down with Steve and yeah. work through that. Give us solutions if we can help. Cool. I know one thing I'm waiting, I'm really excited about is just getting home and getting past Spring 1 because as excited as I'm... pretty heavy. The build up to this has been like a lot. Um, and we've been busy here, so yeah. I'm excited for, I think that's really it. all I had to cover. Um, we're here, we're having fun. We're here, we're gonna go. Sorry about the quality. Yeah, quality, hopefully on the, I think the recorded version should sound a little bit better. Okay. So if you missed the live version because of quality, maybe the podcast will sound a little bit better. Um, but yeah, we'll work on, we'll iterate on this and we'll get better next time. Um, but yeah, maybe next week we can do another episode on this, uh, a live stream and really, talk about this stuff again and yeah. kind of wrap up the entire conference that's a I, plan. I have a whole bunch of things that i wanted to talk about as far as releases go but maybe next week we can dive a little bit into each of those after we have some time to really kind of take everything in so all right that's